but it's just a bit hot and a bit sticky to begin with because there's no air conditioning. Once you start moving, well look at this, once you start moving that's when it starts to get really really nice. Today, we are finally going to Nusa Penida. Yay! We've been wanting to go here for so long. We've been to Indonesia quite a few times now, and as I say Indonesia, we've been to Bali quite a few times, but we haven't really had the chance to get over to Penida. I've been to Lombok and to the Gillies Gilles. before, but that was before all of this videos and this channels <laughs> and before you guys knew us. So we know it'll be pretty useful for people to kind of come along with us and we'll show the process of catching the ferry, where to get it from and all that kind of stuff. Um, but for now, yeah, we're just packing up and getting ready to go. Yeah, so we've had a month now in Changu, which might not have seemed that way in the videos, but that's just because we've been catching up on so much. But if you don't know, Nusa Penida is one of the most famous like probably the most picturesque yeah. like photos that people see from it's like Indo from Bali thing. yeah <laughs> we'll so we're, we're excited to share that there's a lot of boats and stuff to catch so the best thing you can do is go carry on only we've left our bags with a friend here so that we can just go carry on I'm just waiting on a grab to come now to take us to the port oh, that's not him but though that would make life easy <laughs> Sorry for the noise. So you can get cars and all sorts of stuff to get you, but we've gone for a grab because this is only 120,000, which is still probably a little bit more than it should be, but it gets us there. It's gonna take about an hour. So it's about a 45 minute trip from Changu. Yes, Sanur. Hello, Sergio. Sanur, Sanur, Sanur. Sanur, Sanur. Yes, Sanur, Sanur. Uh, so we left a little bit extra time. In fact, it wasn't even 45, maybe a little bit less. Now we were just walking to the ferry terminal and we we're looking for, because uh, we've booked our tickets online. Yes. So the website that we, there's loads of websites, there's heaps of different companies. I'll link the one that we use below. I think it might be a little bit more expensive, but we've used this site everywhere in Asia. So we're just yeah, wandering down a street that the uh, taxis can't come down, apparently. And all that we know is that we've booked with a particular company called Maruti, I think is the ferry that yes. we're on. And we just have to walk down towards the water this way, find that company, show them our ticket. I mean, I'm guessing, I'm <laughs> guessing. <laughs> Let's actually do it. Yeah. It has been raining and luckily it's stopped. So this is the sort of port area. You can buy tickets here everywhere. There's loads of people asking where you're going. There we go, just like that. Hey boss, you wanna buy a ticket? I think it's best to get it online, know that you're sorted when you arrive here. Otherwise, there's potential that someone's gonna try and make you pay three times the price if you do it here. We could have just left our scooters actually, now that I look at this. Everyone else seems to have. Looking at all the boats lined up like this, it definitely reminds me of going to Noosa. And then basically we're just walking along, got to try and find the right company. But you get the picture, there is a lot of them right the way down this whole thing. Thank you, sir. Just like that, we're on. Whew. It's actually not very difficult at all. It's a nice bike, though. I thought you said bike. Yeah, I did almost. <coughs> yeah. This is a weird detail, but the seats are so high that your feet dangle. This is so, I mean, mine dangle a lot. <laughs> I've never experienced this. I don't know if you could tell coming in there, but the water here is so much clearer than what you get across at Bali. This is where the jandals go. Uh, oh yeah. 
so much clearer here. It's a beautiful day. There's a little bit, a little bit rocky on the boat, eh? Yeah, it was a bit. So not necessarily rocky, but there's up and down motion because the engines are huge. There's like four or five engines on the back of those things, and it only takes half an hour. It's a bit frantic as everybody gets off. It only actually takes half an hour on the boat itself, but it's just a bit hot and a bit sticky to begin with because there's no air conditioning. Once you start moving, well, look at this. Once you start moving, that's when it starts to get really, really nice. We're going to try and rent some scooters now and then uh, make our way to our to our accommodation. We don't really know how much that's going to cost, but it's worth it so that we can have freedom so that you can drive around the island. 75,000 uh, per bike per day. So we're only having two days in Panita and then we're going to Lombongan. It's not a bad cost. It is more than you pay in Bali, but they've got you a bit isolated here. We're standing at a port. You don't really have too many options. Decent bikes. Some people have crashed these a lot of times. Thank you. So it's definitely, if you haven't picked up yet, Nusa Penida is obviously an island, that's why we took the boat, but you might not have realized that it's just a small, tiny island off no, the coast. Off the, oh, is it? Quite? Okay, so Penida is the bigger of the, no. Yes. It is, okay. Um, so that's why we had to take the boat, but there's definitely like a casual island vibe here. So much so that they don't even have helmets when you rent scooters, which is a big no-no. We never do that, but everything like is really slow paced. Sorry, can pick, can, Yeah, sorry, mum. Can pick that up already. Real chill. So this is our accommodation down here. We're going to wander down and sort of see. There's pretty good options here. We'll go have a look anyway. Stacy's wearing my bag purely because she was wearing it on the scooter. I would never make. I would never do this and make her use mine. It's it's bigger than you, babe. What? <laughs> hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. Aircon is nice. Thank you so much, Kasi. Very nice room. Yeah, that's the winner. The aircon. That's what we need. <laughs> this is so cool. This is a nice little place. A little bungalow. Excuse my sweat. <laughs> is it bad? <laughs> no, I know people are going to ask about what the name of this place is. It's Majesty something. I'll leave a link below to um, to Agoda, which is where we booked this. If you're booking in Asia, anywhere in Asia, or actually. We even used it in Europe. Definitely book through these guys, and I'll put the link below if you, um, well, you can do us a favor. Anything that you book through that, we get a small referral fee, so thank you for that. Some people do when we ask that. It's always nice that we can go in and see that people went and like, booked their little holidays through our link. That's awesome. Whew, we need to go have a quick swim. This is such a nice pool area. We sort of we don't really have too many plans in Noosa. We've got a we got big plans tomorrow because we're gonna go and check out uh, an area that's known as like the spit that's known as like the T-Rex. It's like if you've ever seen any photos of Nusa Panita you or maybe you don't realize you've seen photos of Nusa Panita. Once you see that tomorrow on you know, the next couple of videos you'll definitely probably be able to recognize this area and the color of the water is amazing. It's this piece of land that like comes out um, super thin but like has these really dodgy stairways and everything that go down but we've just been hanging out we've got some plans this afternoon to go and explore more of the island but we're we'll hanging out this pool is absolutely amazing <laughs> St <laughs> in video, yeah. Stace is um, shooting the, the, some couple of photos of a, a smoothie bowl. There's some guys here, there's a restaurant just behind us at the front that were shooting some of their pictures for, I don't know if it was for like social media or restaurants or something, um, or like for their menu. And I ended up helping them holding the bowl for a photo and then Stace joined in as well. And so they finished with their photos and let us just basically have this free smoothie bowl. We're going to uh, jump on the scooter and go and check out some of the beaches, see more of the more of the water and go and sort of see what this this little or not so little island has to offer. You got to love this about the island lifestyle. Awesome bungalows. 
to the uh, coconuts, all in the trees, all the way up here. It's just like peaceful. Just, it's, it's a bit like there's, there's the buildings and then next to them there's absolutely nothing. There's just not much out here at all. And just across the road from us is where the beach is. This restaurant is sort of attached to the, uh, the place that we're staying, but it's sort of put there so that it's a bit more suited for, for the tourists. But at least there's options, you know? You can see up here. Trees over top, beautiful weather, awesome bungalows. We are very, very happy here. Trip's off to a great start. I know we haven't really seen much of the island just yet. We've driven maybe, I don't know, 15% of it along the north north anyway, but um, reminds us a lot of Samoa. I'd be really curious to hear if many of you guys have been to those like Pacific Islands and everything, or like the Cook Islands, or Tonga or Samoa. These beautiful places, not very well like discovered or shared online actually. So I wish that we, I hope that we can go back and film, but it reminds us a lot of Samoa. We're heading out. We're going on a mission. Yay! What's the name of the spot? So we're going to look at a couple of different things. One is a, like a well-known treehouse. One is a viewpoint and Diamond Beach, I believe it's called. Sounds like a nice name for a beach. It looks as though it might rain, so hopefully we can stick with that plan. It's that typical tropical sort of like blue over there yeah. and not so good over there. Just to really confuse you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's about, it looks like it's about an hour's drive. And I don't know what one speed way. that is. We don't really, yeah, one way. Mm -hmm. And I think all of those three things that you mentioned on a map, they look very close to each other. Yeah, they do. So hopefully we can just drive, almost park in one spot and maybe just like explore them as we go. But it should be beautiful and it's hard to get to, which makes me think it'll be quiet. Hopefully, that's famous what, last words. That's huh? what we're hoping for. It's <laughs> always nice and there's not too many tourists there. It's absolutely stunning here. Oh, look at all the rocks and the cliff faces and everything. And the color of the water. This is where we're heading. That is the is the real winner. <laughs> oh man, it is seriously very very beautiful. Good morning from our last morning. No, not our last morning in Chengdu. Our last morning. Okay, we'll do that again. 